Yeah, it's been a couple of rounds that, that nobody was replacing Nicky because Nicky is uh, irreplaceable. So I wouldn't call uh, Jake the replacement rider for, for Nicky by any means. But still it was strange to roll out Nicky's old bike for Jake. For me and for all the team it's really a big emotion because this is the first time we run the bike again. Soft rear, okay. and then come in. Another again. one. Another one. Okay. If you want. Yeah, yeah. Sure. You want to push? Yeah. Okay, so we put two. All right. Huh? Yeah. It's not too stressful, man. Honestly, it's, it's cool. The whole team has been really welcoming, and it's a pretty low stress, low pressure situation you know they know it's my first time on the thing and uh, there's a lot to take in a lot to learn and first time even in world superbike he's a young guy he's a rookie so he has a lot of things to learn we are trying to help him in every part of the bike to, to understand better what he has to do and how the bike is working and like we're talking about especially if i just pick it up just a little bit then i can start to gas without Without moving. Okay. This has to come now more natural. So you need laps. Because if you think about it, you always move. Yeah. The bike is on is, is a bit more advanced than what he's used to. Uh, it's got more, more power, there's more electronics on the machine as well. Uh, he's got more data and electronics guys around him, which will just make him uh, ride the bike better. So he's gonna learn a lot from, from it. That's how it goes, man. Shit happens. <laughs> so we'll get her dialed in tomorrow. It's just that's how it goes. You learn from it, you move on, make it happen. It's an honor just to be on, on Nikki's bike, and uh, he's just the man. You know, I've looked up to that guy for so long, and he's always just such a good dude on and off the track. So all I can do is try to try to channel channel me some Nikki and and uh, use a little bit of his energy and um, and just kind of do what he would do. You know, until only a couple of weeks ago when we were really started to dig deep into who Jake was, we started to realize what the potential would, would be with him. Because he's not only a fast guy on the uh, tracks, but he's also a demon fast uh, motocross rider we have seen. And it was unbelievable that you can be in both disciplines so, so fast. Uh, just showing how much talent he's got in him. I think that was a little bit better. Okay. With more, I could break a little bit harder with a little bit more support. Pretty excited for him, obviously. It's been a progression here. It's a huge learning curve, and for basically a little under two hours on the bike, we stepped it up each lap, got better and better and better, and then second Super Bowl next to Brattle, who's been at it a long time, so uh, pretty pumped, and I think Jake is the same. We're looking forward to the race now. Uh, racing's when it all goes down anyway. I, I think it's, it's really hard. Okay, the overall level is a bit higher, but also the bike is a lot more complicated. And he never used before any electronic system, so it's the first time he used a launch control for start. It's the first time he can play with the engine brake like he wants and with all the other systems. It was good. First one under our belt, you know, no big mistakes. Learned a lot from riding with those guys and uh, learned a lot for 20, 25 old laps on these tires. And I learned a lot. So I, uh, I had fun riding with some of those guys. And it's good. Something to build off, man. Something to build off, you know? There is some resemblance of uh, uh, Nicky and Jake as well. The, the drive, the ambition, just enjoying to be on a bike, to, to go out there and try to improve on yourself and work with us as a, as a team. And yeah, that, that makes it worth, worth, worthwhile again. I mean, I think Jake has been the best choice for us to, to be the first rider to step on Nicky's old machine again.